lots of war going on in the world today. Lots of fear, lots of war, lots of really, really good things to get all distracted by evil. Um, we've got um, the U.S. is pressuring attacks on Iran and Zionists and Israel and lobby groups and, you know, our big, big bombs and Russia and um, a nuclear um, power. And I mean, there's so much big, bad things to get all distracted by. And guess what? Every one of them are wrong. If you want to go and find the truth about anything, as long as anybody's saying something's wrong and we need to fight or we need a bigger bomb or we need to hate some country or we need to hate another country or, you know, as long as you're hating anything, any, any, anything, you're wrong. You want to hate Israel? You're wrong. You want Israel to hate, you know, any other country? They're wrong. Iran wants to attack anybody? They're wrong. Anybody who wants to fight in any war? You're wrong. You know, it's it's the guys that are talking peace. Do we see any new saying, here's a peace table, come join our table? No. You know, anybody that's in Iran, if you want to believe you're 100% right and you need to fight somebody, you're wrong. If you're in Israel and you need to take over some land because oh, some book said it was yours in the first place, guess what? You're wrong. You know, look at yourselves. How are you participating in the wars? You know, if, if you're the, you know, somebody throws a bomb on you, you're going to throw a bomb on them, they're going to throw a bomb on you. And at what point in history have we ever found that throwing bombs is actually a healthy way of living your life? You know, you shoot them, they shoot you, you shoot them. After a hundred years, all you know is how much anger you got from them shooting you that you don't even know that you've been shooting them, pissing them off. You know, at some point in time, we got to start putting our guns down, stop throwing our bombs, and start using some communication skills. You know, humanity sucks at communicating. We suck at finding what's good about the other side. We want to believe, like Christians, that we are the right ones. Every freaking religion believes that they're the right ones. Meanwhile, what does religion do? All they do is see that everybody else is wrong but me and the religion I believe in. It don't matter what culture you're from. If you belong to a culture and that culture is going to say everybody else that isn't in your culture is wrong, guess what? You are the one that's got a wrong culture to even judge another culture. You know, at the end of the day, your beliefs and, and judging of somebody else is going to make them throw a bomb at you. It could be a nuclear bomb. It could be a bomb of words. You know, it could be torture. It could be a gun. You know, it could be a machine gun. You know, like, regardless, you're going to throw something out with a judgment, be prepared to be judged back. So when I see all of these wars and all of this nice little distraction, you know what I do? Send them love and hope they find peace. You know, send them love and hope that they want peace more than they want war. You know, Send them love and hope they don't buy into this media crap because this media crap is just, oh, did you know he said this about you? And look at how big and bad he is because he said this really, really horrible thing about you. And oh my God, did he say that about me? I better get even. I better be, you know. Just hope the hell that we start seeing propaganda is propaganda and it happens in your own backyard and it's all designed to get you full of fear, get you all designed to fight for some war. You know, like, I, I, I feel so sorry for anybody that, you know, patriots that feel they need to go and pick up their guns and fight something. You know, like, I don't feel sorry for you if you feel that you need to die for something that's right because you dying with a gun means that you have no value for your life because at the end of the day you got a 50 50 chance of being dead you ain't saving nobody you ain't doing good to nobody you're killing families you're killing children and mothers and fathers you know while you think you're right 
So if you're a father and you have children and you feel you need to kill another family so your family, you know, can live, I don't feel sorry for you if you end up dying and your family ends up suffering from it because all of you guys are supporting war. You all are accepting that, okay, we're patriots, we're going to die by a cause, you know. How you want to die is your own choice. You know, I am not going to feel sorry for you if you end up dying from the wars you think you need to play in. You know, it's the guys that are peace. You know, the guys that are, are, are spreading truth. The guys that are trying to say peace is the way to go or solving problems is the way we, we got to go. For speaking up the truth in a peaceful, loving way and they get killed, those are the families that I, I have compassion for. Um, but ultimately, you know, somebody may want to kill me because I'm saying the truth. But this planet, this human experience is all about you evolving your soul experience. You are much more powerful in a spiritual world if you're a little smarter. <laughs> you know, so... If you've evolved in this planet and somebody kills you and you're fully aware of the game that's played, <laughs> as a spirit, you know, there's a lot of humans that are listening to spirits. You know, they're putting a lot more power into the spirits out there. So you have the ability to be a lot more powerful in a spiritual world because you can influence people, you know. And this particular spirits, come on, bring it on, shoot me, kill me, you know, it doesn't matter to me because I know my sole purpose, whether in a human experience or within a spiritual, it is all about encouraging humanity to grow and evolve in love, in peace. You know, so the ones that want to fight war, guess what? I'll be the little spirit in there that says, you're wrong, put down that gun. <laughs> you know, walk away. I'd be the one that's, you know, putting a little seed of what love feels like, love for your enemy. You know, I'd be putting the little flashes in your head that shows you of the family that you're about to kill. Yeah, I'll affect you in your dreams. I'll make sure that you have a dream where you have a, oh my God, look at what I'm doing to this family. I'm stopping and I won't fight in war anymore. So, I, you know, in the spiritual world, you know, you can evolve. I, I, I have zero, zero fear of any death because I'm stronger if you can't see me coming. <laughs> In this world, you can see me coming. You can see my YouTube channel. But that's what I think, you know, if we all want to fall, jump into peace, don't be so scared of what, what happens after you find peace because your idea and the path of peace is what you know set for example for your children to walk down and their children before them and they'll be my father was a hero because he chose not to fight with anybody and i'm going to be just like my father and i know the spirit of my father even though you killed me he's with me giving me strength and giving me power to overcome evil and there is another dimension to this human experience we just have to know how to put the whole puzzle together. So these fights and these wars that we have, just don't participate in them. Send them love. Send them peace. Yeah, if they need to fight, then let them fight themselves. But don't you fight in their battles. Let them fight it out. But as long as you want to join somebody else's fight, guess what? It's going to destroy your own economic systems. You know, it's going to lead you down a path to your own destruction. And the faster we can all put our guns down, the faster we can all stop all of these weapons. I mean, there is a threat of a nuclear war. These guys have really gone insane. It's not like back in the 60s when I was a kid and we were scared Russia or the states were going to push that, that button. We've evolved now. We've gotten a lot more insane. These guys are not scared of pushing that button. Just like they're not scared of BP putting all that pollution in all our oceans. They got no ties to reality. They don't give a shit whether they kill you because they want the whole world destroyed. And right now, these stupid people have no fear of pushing a nuclear bomb. <laughs> so, you know, don't give them power. 
Don't play in their games. Don't get attached to their fear. Don't get attached to their wars. Send out as much peace as possible and just sitting and being the peace. Sending out love by being love. Participating in the solutions and not in the problems. Offering peace tables, you know, doing so many different variations of peace will unfold that possibility. But I wouldn't be fearing a, a nuclear, I wouldn't fear anything. There's nothing to fear. Because if you know where you are and your spirit in this dimension has evolved, then you've got more power. <laughs> And you'll be changing those guys that push that button. And chances are somebody, some spirit has evolved. And they've been killed in some of these wars. And they're going to have more influence on the guy that pushes that button. <laughs> so it doesn't get pushed. So believe in the spirits. In the spirits that want peace. There's more than enough peace that are, people that have suffered through war that they've evolved. They've learned their lessons. They might have died, but they see what the big picture is. And they're here on this planet influencing us through their spirits. Just trust in that because it's there. But you've got to be the one that starts it. And somebody else will join in by your example. Peace.